So I was just talking about the Canadian birth rate like last week, and then this article dropped. Does anyone still want kids? Families are shrinking as people are having fewer children or none at all. Demographers, sociologists, and your mother-in-law want to know why aren't people having as many kids? Canada recorded its lowest ever fertility rate for the second year in a row in 2023, according to Statistics Canada, at 1.26 children born per woman. It now joins the ranks of the lowest low fertility countries, included, including South Korea, Spain, Italy, and Japan. Statistics Canada said the drop between 2022 and 2023 specifically reflects an increase in number of women of childbearing age, but also noted the fertility rate has been steadily declining for more than 15 years. Experts have linked a range of factors with reproductive decision-making, including rising costs of living and eco-anxiety. More people are also delaying parenthood until later in life, which can shorten the reproductive window. But there's also a larger cultural aspect. Larger families with multiple children are simply no longer ideal, like they were a few years ago, says Lisa Stro um, Strohshine, a sociology professor at the University of Alberta and editor-in-chief of the Journal of Canadian Studies in Population. We've shifted from a society that had children to help ensure the survival of the household to one where people choose to become parents out of a desire for personal fulfillment, and you don't need lots and lots of kids to derive meaning out of life. That's reflected in a number of parenting platforms dedicated to raising only children, like One and Done subreddit with 72,000 members or the 21,500 videos posted with the One and Done hashtag on TikTok. Um, there are also influencers like Jen Dalton of Sunbury, Ontario, whose One and Done parenting account on Instagram has over 55,000 followers. No longer do sleepless nights and postpartum anxiety and depression um, plague me. I do have time to focus on myself while also focusing on my daughter and my marriage. Dalton wrote in a post in May. We have a beautiful balance in our lives. Then some people just don't want to. The recognition that having children is increasingly costly time-consuming and stressful was reflected in a recent public health advisory issued by U.S. Surgeon General. In August, Vivek Murthy warned about the impact of modern stresses on the mental health, um, on parents' mental health, saying today's parents face unique challenges. Broadly, it comes down to economics and culture, says Rania Tefali, an associate professor in the Department of Sociology and Anthropology at Carleton University who studies social demography. Historically, getting married and having children were defining markers of adulthood, Tefali explained, but these markers have been increasingly replaced with those related to independence, economic stability, and pursuing individual interests. Having children requires considerable time, commitment, and investment to ensure their well-being. Given this and increasing cost of having children, many are choosing to only have one or two children or none at all. The stigma around being child-free is leaving, just like the stigma around being divorced is also leaving. So that's all I'm going to do as far as this article. Um, when I did the Canadian birth rate article last week, lots of Canadian women actually weighed in. So I'm going to do some of their comments talking about why they are not having children. Dolly Girl says, as a childless Canadian of childbearing age, I get it. My partner and I can barely afford our rent and groceries. I laugh out loud at anyone who asks about babies and asks, are you buying me a house? Kale says, as a young professional in Canada, we can't afford homes here. How do they expect my generation to afford a family? Esmeralda says, Canadian mother here. I totally get it. Housing and groceries and childcare are insanely expensive now and wages are stagnant. Kate says, I'm pregnant in Canada. Listen to this, y'all. I tried to register with three midwives in Ottawa and was waitlisted for all three despite this. We just don't have the infrastructure to grow our population. Think about that. 
these women are not going to be able to get the health care that they need even if they wanted to have babies. Dan says kids are a luxury. Yes, they are a luxury and they're an expensive luxury. <laughs> Kitty says, Canadian here and no surprises. Most people can barely afford rent and groceries, so no kids for us. Tiffany says, could it be because we have one of the highest costs of living on the planet? Anastasia says, I'm a Canadian millennial. I'd love to have children, but cost of living is insane and Canadian men are, and she does this sad emoji. Sammy Joe says, 35-year-old Canadian woman here, I decided on not having children, and one of the reasons is the economy. And Genesis says, my partner keeps putting it off because the world seems so unstable, and it almost feels unethical to bring a kid into it. But if we were seriously concerned, I'm sorry, if they were seriously concerned, they would start paying women to do it. Women can barely get maternity leave for any reasonable amount of time. Obviously, they're not going to pay us. Joshua says, I live in Canada and I hope the birth rate drops to hell. <laughs> he is team let it plummet to hell. Like I was asking that question um, when I made that post. Um, PNW says, make it affordable and we will have babies. Melissa says, it's like that everywhere. Canada is no exception. Women are tired. At some point, these leaders are going to make it make sense. Because what people are saying, they, they, know, they know that this economy does not support women. They know that it is too expensive. They know that their health care is lacking. They know that it costs too much. So what are they going to do about it? They are going to just keep writing, uh, what, writing think pieces, writing articles. They're going to write legislation to strip women's rights. What, how are they going to do this? For too long, um, they have said, don't have babies if you can't afford it. And then women were like, I bet. But also, you know, for the longest time, we also heard about, you know, don't get pregnant as a teenager, blah, blah, blah. And the majority of the birth rate decline has been teenagers and young 20-year-olds. So they are getting exactly what they ask us to do. And now they are sounding the alarm bell that nobody is having enough kids. One of the things that is keeping many of these countries afloat is immigration. And somebody mentioned in one of the comments that Canada does actually have a high level of immigrants. So the fact that um, um, Canada is sitting at like 1.3 despite having immigrants is also very telling. If those immigrants weren't here, what would their actual birth rate per woman be? That, that's going to be one of the things that America has to grapple with if we keep on denigrating the immigrants that come. Anyways, join the conversation. Y'all know I love talking about these birth rates and how I am team. Let it plummet to hell until women are respected, until mothers um, get some time off, until dads start participating in the household, until the cost of living makes sense let it plummet to hell. Y'all join the conversation. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to like, comment, and share.